biscuit. Oh, biscuits. Oh. We've missed it again. Only joking. Only joking. So, thought I would come and get a video um, of them doing the chopping. I bumped into my father-in-law and I said, do you think it would be weird if I started videoing them? And he went one better and was like, do you want me to ring him and see if he can have a ride? Yes. So, on the way over, Cameron, one of uh, my husband's employees, gave us a lift in the tractor. And whilst we were there, um, he was explaining to me what the chopper does. Then we hopped onto the chopper and we got to see it in full action on the aircon quite warm today it was lovely so thank you mark for showing us the chopper and thank you for coming for the lift so here is the chopper the tractor and the trailer the chopper harvests the entire maize plant from the field this includes the stalks leaves husks and cob all at once Inside the machine, rotating knives chop the material into small pieces. This is usually around one to two centimetres long. This makes it easier to compact into the silage clamp and improves fermentation. Now, I have explained fermentation in a previous video. Modern forage harvesters also have a kernel processor. This is sometimes called a cracker. This crushes the corn kernels on the cob. This step is crucial because it breaks the hard shells of the kernels, makes the starch inside more digestible for cows, and this improves the nutritional value of the silage. As the harvester chops the maize, it blows the chopped maize directly into the trailer. The tractor driver must keep a steady pace and position so the trailer stays lined up with the spout. This takes skill, especially on uneven ground. The driver of the chopper can also move the spout accordingly. When a trailer is filled, the tractor driver will drive out of the field and another tractor with an empty trailer quickly pulls up alongside the chopper so the harvesting doesn't stop. We had three tractors on the go all at once swapping. The full trailer takes the load back to the farmyard or silage clamp. Once at the clamp, the tractor tips the load into the pit and heads back to the field for another load. This is a non-stop relay system. One or more tractors are always in the field collecting the maize and others are travelling to and from the clamp. This keeps the chopper working continuously. As stopping wastes time. Communication is very important between the chopper and the tractor driver to keep things smooth. If the trailer isn't in the right place, chopped maize can be lost on the ground. And as you can see, a tractor, telehandler or loading shovel pushes and spreads the maize evenly across the pit. And then a heavy tractor drives back and forth over the maize continuously. I have also explained this in a previous video. Anyway, that's enough for today. See you next time.